Alright guys, Power GPU here. Um, I see some of you guys have enjoyed my videos. Um, I'm going to keep them coming as much as I can. I know uh, Steve-O, he's been requesting some stuff. He requested a Battlefield Bad Company. I'll be doing that next week. I'm going to try to get a hold of that. Um, right now I'm going to do a video of Crisis. Uh, a lot of people have been probably waiting to do this. I know you guys have seen this probably a million times as well. I tried doing, doing the benchmark utility. For some reason it's not working properly. It keeps throwing me into the game. I've tried a million times. So I'm just going to show some ga uh, gameplay footage um, of me playing it. Um, I'm not going to be shooting or anything like that. I'm just going to be going, running through it, just give you an idea how the FPS would run. Try to avoid you know, as much as action as I can. Um, but give you an idea. I'm going to put the camera here now on the screen. Alright, let's go here real quick. And again, I have the processor right now running at 3.3 uh, gigahertz, and the cards are stock. Uh, trying to keep it stock as possible for right now until I get a until I get some liquid cooling in there. Um, I would do some mild overclocking, but I guess you guys want to see what my uh, FPS is overall as far as stock first, and then we could do that later on down the road. All right, what I'm going to do once I get into the game here, I need to turn on fraps. I forgot to do that. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. It's going to go into window mode. Yeah, I figured that was going to do that. Go to the desktop real quick. Turn on fraps. All right, go back in the game. Full screen. There we go. And I do need to turn off V-Sync. Got to do that real quick. Hopefully. Hopefully they'll do good this time. I'm kind of now an ATI guy, but we'll see when they come out. I know Efaco 5 and Dark MX don't like uh, NVIDIA quite a bit. I know a lot of people don't. Um, but, you know, can't really hate the cards yet. They haven't come out yet. I'm going to wait a little bit to do all that. Um, I'm going to turn off V-Sync. I do have it enabled. Uh, my graphics right now are 1920 by 1080 as far as resolution. And then, of course, let's do this real quick. I got very high, very high, very high, very high, very high. Come back over here. Set this guy down. And let's go ahead and hit apply. Make sure that's all set up. Okay, apply settings. V-Sync is off. Now you can tell that Fraps is going crazy. I'm up in the 1200 or so. Let me see if I can move fraps real quick. So it's all the way in the bottom corner. If I could remember how to do it. There we go. Alright. I got fraps at the bottom. Let's do this. Single player. Load. Let's go to, let's see here, we'll go ahead and start it off right here in the beginning. Now again, there's no AA. I do not have that enabled. I will enable that for times two, times four, times eight later on. And for right now, we'll do this. Uh, benchmark here. Alright, let's let her up. Now I will let you know guys, there is a lot of tearing when I do not have fraps on. There we go. 68. Averaging pretty good FPS there. 71, 72, 69. I'll tell you what, I love these cards. Like I said, my last machine was uh, two 5770s in Crossfire, and it, it did not scale very good at all. It scaled very horribly. I 
All right. Very smooth FPS. 69.50 around there. Now again, like I said, this is all stock. So nothing is running except for the video, except for the processor that's at three point something, three point two right now. All right, let's do this. Pick up some guns real quick. I'm going to access the KPA secure scan. No, Matt. You and the Sniper can the program. All right, listen up. The KPA are holding a civilian hostage in the village about a click ahead. Could be one of Rosenthal's from the Nomad. I need you to infiltrate the village and gather any intel you can. Love the physics. Very good physics. The priority is to find that hostage. Understood? Understood. Sniper will provide support as soon as we're done here. Alright, so again, we're at 63, 62 right there, 65. Now keep in mind, I chose this level just because it's the most graphical, intense part. So I wanted to keep it. Oh. Took them all out. Sniper up at the top. Let's move out of here. Got a helicopter over there. Oh, look at that, they shot me right right there in two seconds. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot to change the difficulty. I left it on uh, on hard. There we go. Now we got some snipes. Running very good right now. Very smooth. 50, 60, 52 right there. Some no scopes. Get out of here. All right, I'm down to eight minutes now, so let's see if I could just come over here. This is the hardest part right here to run. Usually, the FPS drops quite a bit just because it's such an open environment. Pretty open environment right there. Oh, they're shooting at me. Alright, so let me stop it here. So have you noticed there it was uh it was averaging about sixty-one uh, anywhere kick it was kicking up to seventy-five here and there. Lowest I got that I saw was uh thirty-eight at that part. Um let's see here real quick. Got 57 Celsius in the GPUs and max on this processor was 43. So, all in all, pretty good FPS. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoy. Um, I will be posting one with AA times two. Maybe it might do times eight, but uh, ran pretty smooth there. Um, again, that game is very graphically intense. It was. Some people say it was written poorly. I would say yes and no. Um, written poorly and. You know, people complain you just need the money to run these games nowadays, pretty much. But uh, Power GPU, man. Signing off. Don't forget to subscribe.